Hey teachers, a popular video here on my channel is my video all about how to record voiceovers in Google Slides. Now, I made that video about two years ago, and as you know, technology is constantly changing. So over the past two years, there have been a lot of new technologies, a lot of updates to Google Slides, and because of that, I have completely changed the way that I now record voiceovers for my Google Slides, and it is something that I get a lot of questions about. So in this video, I wanna show you my current preferred way for adding voiceovers and audio to my Google Slides. Being able to add audio to your Google Slides is an incredibly helpful tool for teachers. It's great for our ESL learners who need a little bit of assistance. It's also great for if you have a student with an IEP that requires text to be read aloud to them. This is a way that you can accommodate that IEP without having to actually sit next to the student and read it to them. So you're still able to focus your attention in other areas and meet that, those accommodations at the exact same time. Here's an example of some interactive Google Slides that I would love to be able to add audio to. This is a comprehension passage with questions all about Spanish exploration. So what I wanna do is record audio of me reading this passage so that way my ESL students or my students with IEPs can be able to listen to me reading it and then answer the comprehension questions. But before I show you how to add that audio, I do quickly want to let you know that I have passages similar Similar to this one for every US history, Virginia studies, and ancient world culture standard in my store. All of the passages come with a PDF version and a digital version, so they're great for both in-person and digital learning. The digital version is available for Google Slides. Every passage is aligned to standards and comes with five to seven comprehension questions. So these are a really great way to combine ELA and social studies in your lessons. I have linked all of these passages in the description for this video if you're interested in learning more about them. Okay, so the first step to to adding audio to your Google Slides is to actually record the audio. Now, unfortunately, at this point, Google Slides does not allow you to record directly in Google Slides. I keep hoping that this is gonna be something that they're going to update, and hopefully one day we'll get that, but not right now. So as far as recording your audio, you can record really in anything and then upload that to your computer as an MP3. So there's two ways that I like to do that. The first option is just using the voice recorder in your phone. Pretty much every uh, iPhone and Android smartphone is going to have some kind of voice recorder in that. So what I do is I will record into the phone. Then when you plug your computer up to your phone, you should be able to drag and drop the audio files the same way that you would drag and drop image files from your phone to your computer. So you'll just do that. The other option is to record directly onto your computer so that way you don't have to drag and drop files later on. Now there are lots of different programs you can use, both paid and free. My personal favorite is Audacity, which is a free recording program. You can download Audacity for free to your computer by going to audacityteam.org, selecting the type of computer that you're using, whether Windows or Mac, and it should automatically download for free to your computer from there. Now keep in mind, when you are recording directly onto your computer, you will need to use a microphone. I've linked the microphone that that I like to use down in the description of this video if you want to check it out, but it's a pretty inexpensive microphone, but it's good quality. I've been using it for several years and have not had any issues with it. So you're going to want to decide how you are going to record your audio. Make sure that audio is uploaded to your computer as an MP3 file. Now this next step is a very important one. When you save your audio file to your computer, you want to make sure you save it to your Google Drive, not your hard drive. In order to be able to upload it into Google Slides, you need to have it saved to your Google Drive. Now if you've already saved it to your hard drive, that's not a big deal at all. You'll just drag and drop the file from your hard drive to your Google Drive, no big deal. So for my Spanish exploration passage, I've already 
already recorded it using my microphone and audacity and I have saved it to my Google Drive. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on my computer and I'm going to show you the steps that you're going to go through to insert that audio file directly into your Google Slides and some of the different settings that you can play with once you've embedded an audio file. So adding audio to your Google Slides is easy. You're just going to click on insert and then select audio. Now any audio MP3 files that you have saved to your Google Drive should show up under my drive. So then you're just going to select the file that you need. In my case, Spanish exploration. So I'm going to click select and you will see that it automatically embeds this here. If I click play, it will start playing the file. So one thing that I like is in a recent Google Slides update, it is now giving you a lot of freedom and customization features with those audio tools. So you will see format options automatically appear. If by chance you exit out of it, you can bring it back up anytime by clicking the audio file and then clicking on format options. But some of the most important things that you're going to want to notice is do you want it to play on click or automatically? If it plays on click, the student has to actually click play for it to play. If it plays automatically, it is going to start playing as soon as the student goes to that slide, but only in present mode. I usually like uh, keeping it on click. You'll also want to play with the volume. I like to make sure that that is turned up all the way. You can decide whether to loop the audio. I always keep this checked and that is stop on slide change. So if they are looking at this in present mode and they go to another slide, the audio for this slide will stop playing. It won't keep going. Some other things you can play with is how the icon actually looks. So you can change the size there, you can rotate it, you can change the position. I have it in the top left. We can move it to center. Um, I'm just gonna keep it in top left. We can change the color of the audio so it stands out a little bit more. And then you can also adjust the brightness and the transparency of the audio. So it gives you a lot of options to really play with what this looks like. But this is how you are going to add audio to these Google Slides. All right, teachers, there you have it. That is the process that I am currently using to add audio files and voiceovers to my Google Slides. Like I said, it's an incredibly helpful tool for teachers, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it, but this is the way that I have found to be the easiest right now. I know in this video, I was kind of showing you step by step and going very slowly through the process. So it may look like it took me a while, but once you get into a routine of doing this, it actually goes very quickly. It's not a process that takes very long at all. So I hope this information is helpful to you. And something that would be very helpful to me is if you could take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We create all of the content here on this channel for free. And by taking the time to like our videos and subscribe to our channel, it ensures that we are able to continue creating free content for you and teachers around the globe. So thank you so much for your support. And until next time, happy teaching.